Welcome to XAR template tutorials for the XAR Web Designer 365 Premium Software. This is lesson number six, and in this lesson, we're going to be talking about the new enhancements that were made to Smart Shapes. And in this case, we're going to focus on the ellipse and the rectangle tool. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our uh, toolbar here, and we're going to place our cursor over the quick shapes, and we're going to look for the one that looks like a star, which is the quick shape tool. And let's go ahead and left click on that. And once we click on that in our info bar, you'll see a new button that says insert. And if we left click on that, it will bring up a dialog menu. And within this menu, we're going to select the first option, which says rectangle. And once we select that, you'll see that a rectangle appears in our workspace. And we have these new control handles to make adjustments to this shape. So for example, if I place my cursor on this control handle, you'll see that it gives us a tool tip that says resize. If I place it over this one, you'll see that it says rounding. So basically, wherever you place your cursor over one of these control handles, it will tell you what those different control handles will do. OK, so let's go ahead and click on the top resize handle here and drag up or down to adjust the height. And then let's go ahead and click on the right side and adjust the, the size of that. If you drag outward or inward, you'll see that it adjusts the size. If we click on the rounding control handle, you'll see that if I drag left or right, it adjusts the rounding of the rectangle. If I click on this rotational handle here, it will control the rotation. Okay, so each of these control handles has a different function. Whereas in the past, if we wanted to make these kind of changes, we may have to go through extra steps with the regular shape within the XAR software. But I also want to show you one last uh, control handle, which is the scale. If we left click and drag that, it will scale the object to be bigger or smaller depending on if we drag inward or outward, okay? So let's go ahead and go to our toolbar and select a regular rectangle. And let's draw that in our workspace. And let's go ahead and try to make those same changes that we made with the regular uh, smart shape, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. If I drag one of these editing nodes, you'll see that it controls the rounding. If I click on the upper right-hand corner, I can drag outward or up or down to adjust you know the height or the width okay but if I wanted to adjust the scale like proportionately I would have to go back to the selection tool and then I could resize it to make it bigger or smaller like that if I wanted to make it you know rotate I would have to left click it a second time and then the control handles for rotating it will be revealed so in other words you have to go through a few extra steps to make those changes okay and if we left click on this uh, smart shape twice it will reveal the control handles again but if we only click on it once you're not going to see those control handles it'll just look like a normal uh, shape and we can adjust the the width by dragging on one of these handles here and we can drag up or down to make it taller or make it you know scale up or down okay but if we double left click on it it's going to reveal those control handles okay let's go ahead and look at the ellipse tool next so if we go back to our toolbar and select the quick shape tool again and then go to the insert button we'll choose ellipse this time and you can see again we get a set of control handles I'm going to place my cursor over this one and you can see that I can resize the width by dragging inward or outward if I click on this one and drag up or down I can adjust the height uh, if I put my cursor over this one I can again adjust the width and if I place my cursor over this one, I can adjust the scale by dragging inward or outward. If I place my cursor over the rotational one, I can rotate it. So I think you get the general idea. Each quick shape is going to have its own set of control handles to allow you to make adjustments to a given shape. Okay, so that is a brief introduction to what the smart shapes are capable of doing. There are other types of smart shapes but we'll cover that in a future tutorial. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos.